Hello viewers, today I am going to demonstrate you uh, an injection technique for acromioclavicular joint which I do it in uh, outpatient basis. Now you can do this in uh, your theatres under fluoroscopy or also under ultrasound guided uh, injections. Uh, on this occasion, I have, this video is specifically for people who don't have access to fluoroscopy or they don't have MSK consultant to do these injections. I am sure if you watch this video, you should be able to do this injection in OPD uh, without any problems. So today I have got uh, this right hand dominant laborer who is complaining of uh, severe pain. So clinically there is local tenderness, cross arm adduction test is positive and this uh, right uh, acromic local joint is swollen and it is more uh, prominent than its opposite left side. Now today we are going to inject this. Now when you inject the acromic local joint, each joint is slightly different. So you need to see what is the angle of the joint. So here if you see the angle of joint is going something like this and if you want to inject then you need to inject in this particular direction if you want to go uh, in straight. So remember the joint is slightly inclined so your needle will also be slightly inclined. So if you go vertical like this then there is a very good chance that you will struggle, you will hit the bone and you will hit the bone and you will hit the bone and you will struggle. So today I am going to inject and I will ensure that I am keeping my needle slightly inclined so that I struggle less. So this is one thing which you should look on x-rays before injecting acromioclavicular joint. So this is our gentleman you can see if you compare to the other side this is quite prominent. He is complaining of pain there and all the tests which are uh, um, suggestive of that this joint is a problem because um, he uses this hand and he is complaining of pain. So first we have cleared it with lots and lots of alcohol. So first thing is just antisepsis is important. You want to do it under all aseptic uh, precaution. So we are doing it under our uh, minor OT. So first thing is I am taking a um, few ml of 2% lignocaine and I am just going to make this area slightly numb. Sharp, thoda scratch lagega. So key is that you don't want to cause too much pain because if you are doing it blind, you don't know how much attempt because sometimes it can be quite difficult to find the space. So the first step is to give the local anesthetic. So this is our anesthetic given. So we will just give it some time for it to act and you just use a swab just to disperse it in the local area because you don't want to make this area too prominent because then you will find difficult to palpate your landmark. Once you are happy, just wait for a few minutes and then we will use um, a mill of uh, steroid and a one mill of uh, local anesthetic. We will try to find this joint and inject it. So when you are doing this, uh, sometimes you can be lucky with uh, a smaller needle but I use this green gauge because if you are in a tight space and if you are using a smaller gauge needle, it gets blocked quite easily. So then just palpate it. This seems to me like an ACJ. So I am just going to go vertically and try to locate the joint. On this occasion, I have been very lucky that I am straight into the joint. But not all the time you will be this lucky. So it may require a little bit of poking here or front or back. So don't be afraid. So what I do is just go and if you hit a bone, just go a few millimeters lateral, 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 lateral or it's just a matter of negotiating uh, this needle into the joint. Now this is uh, definitely in the joint because I felt the giveaway. But all the time it won't be easy. But the key will be to look at the type of ACJ. Now on this occasion, if I show, uh, as I showed you in the radiograph, the ACJ is at slight angle. That is why I didn't go vertical because then the space becomes less. So because it was inclined, my needle is also slightly inclined and once this is happy and you are sure, once you feel the giveaway, then it's just a matter of injecting the drug. So once you are in the joint, can you see this, how easily it is flowing? It is flowing so easily because I know I am in the right spot. If you are close to the bone, this is not going to work. So on this occasion, we have been lucky. Not all the time I am lucky. And even with my experience, 
sometimes i struggle so don't think that on this occasion i am lucky and every time it's going to happen like this especially if the joint is quite arthritic it can take few goes but all i wanted to demonstrate is uh, just give me one second i'll demonstrate what i want say for example if i am going straight and you find the bone you can go touch medially just angle it and then touch medially if you are still finding bone touch medially then come back where you started and then go touch laterally 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 and eventually you will find the space so you have to angle the needle um, and find the space and once you find the space it's quite obvious it gives way as as you saw in this video i'm not sure whether it was appreciated or not but you find a giving way and once you find that giving way you can be 100% sure that this is in the joint so this is how i inject uh, my acromioclavicular joint and uh, you know if it's a lucky day then you can do it uh, pretty easily as uh, uh, today like it went in the first go but uh, some days you may have you may require a little bit of struggle but eventually you find the space so uh, this is an opd procedure if uh, you have got an msk consultant then ideally it should be done under ultrasound guided because then all the time you can be certain that you have injected the right uh, space but if you are in a center or if you are working in peripheries where you don't have access to uh, fluoroscopy or if you don't have access to uh, ultrasound imaging then uh, this uh, way you should be able to inject the acromioclavicular joint so i hope you find this video useful if you find this video useful please don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up and also if you find this video useful and if you um, ever uh, do an ACG injection, I would like to hear your feedback in the comment section. And please, please do subscribe and do share our channel. Thank you.